Hi, in this video, we are going to see how to factor a polynomial that is x cube negative 1. Okay, in this uh, polynomial x cube negative 1, uh, I don't have any exponent for this one. But I assume there is exponent 3 for this one. So, since I assumed an exponent 3 for 1, will it change the original value? No, it won't because 1 raised to the power of anything will be equal to 1. Whatever exponent you take for 1, it will still be 1. So since I assume the exponent 3 for 1, it won't change its original value, it will still be 1. Here, you may have a question. So why should I assume the exponent 3 for 1? There is a reason. So for the first term, already we have the exponent 3. If I assume, uh, if I have exponent 3 for the next term, 1 also, then it will be in the form of a cube negative b cube. So what is the use of having the given expression in the form a cube negative b cube? So we can use the algebraic identity that is a cube negative b cube is equal to a negative b times a square positive a b positive b square and we can factor the given expression. Since this uh, given expression is in the form of a cube negative b cube, so you can use his identity to factor this expression. So the factor form of this expression is equal to a negative b times a square positive a b positive b square. Okay, comparing this and this, what do we have for a and what do we have for b? So for a, we have x, for b, we have 1. So on the right side, wherever you find a, it has to be replaced by x and wherever you find b, it has to be replaced by 1. Okay, now let's do it. So first a minus b, that means x negative 1, a square, x square positive a, x times b is 1, positive 1 square. So x negative 1 times x square positive, x times 1 is x, positive 1 square is just 1. So the factored form of the given expression x cube negative 1 is x negative 1 times x square positive x positive 1. I think everyone can understand this. Thank you.